Welcome back to Reviews Gone Bad from 36Point.com. This week we are reviewing Sketchbook by Timothy O'Donnell. Also a Rockport book coming in at right about 200 pages. Just came out this year. And, uh, well, honestly, it's a picture book. There's a lot of pictures in this book and that is basically what it is all about. About 199 pages of photos in it. This is your quintessential graphic design picture book. So in reviewing Sketchbook, I had to do something I've never really done before, and that is read a picture book. It's a lot like reading a communication arts annual. No one ever really does it. And, uh, you know, there are, you know, there is, there's copy in here. So that's what we do. We're going we're gonna to read some book. And it turns out that Sketchbook, as something to read, as well as something to look at, is pretty, pretty pretty good honestly it moves along at a pretty good clip this book doesn't linger on anything it's got I think close to 30 designers in it 30 different designers some of them you've heard of some of them if you're me you haven't and uh, it doesn't really give anyone any more time than anyone else uh, originally when I when I saw the book I, I noted that Marion Banshees who is you know a fantastic illustrator and typographer only has uh, a handful of pages and I thought well that's kind of strange, but that's what this book is about. It doesn't linger. It doesn't stay on anything uh, any longer than it needs to. And what that gives it when you read it is a really quick, refreshing, snappy pace. Uh, and that actually makes it pretty enjoyable to read. I wouldn't necessarily say that you could read it all in one sitting. I tried. I couldn't. But, uh, but you know, two or three at the most, uh, again, if you're actually going to read it. If you're just looking at the pictures, and let's face it, that's what most people are going to do, this book turns out to be pretty good eye candy. Again, it's, a, it's all sketchbooks. There's a, a certain really limited degree of finished art in here, and the rest of it is really about the idea. And note that it's about the idea, not necessarily the process. There's a great quote from Michael Beirut in the book about, uh, you know, most books of this nature are looking for... A rough sketch to a kind of rough sketch to a not so rough sketch to a kind of almost final sketch and then the final that's not really what this book does this book really shows the genesis of the idea and that's about it so uh, you know if you're like me and you find that kind of thing interesting then then this book is is gonna be pretty exciting to you if you just want to see the best designers in the world uh, doing the best design in the world that's not what this book is about look elsewhere for that and that's about the biggest downside I have for the book. That and occasionally there's going to be somebody's work in there that you're just not going to get too excited about. But, uh, you know, on the, the flip side of that is that Gary Baseman's in the book. And this is the first thing that's made me care about Gary Baseman in forever. Also, the book exposes the design industry's generally common mega boner for moleskin notebooks. Which, personally, I don't really get. But, like, half the people in here, that's what they're all about. In the end, with... Reading of the copy, I'm actually going to give Sketchbook by Timothy O'Donnell four stars. Again, not trying to start a trend here. It just kind of worked out that our first two reviews came out to, you know, about the same thing. But uh, Sketchbook's good. I like it, and uh, you should check it out. It's available, uh, uh, again, a suggested retail price of about $40. But if you're a thrifty shopper, I'm sure you can find it for less. Thank you very much. This has been Reviews Gone Bad. We'll see you back in a week or two with our next review. Thanks much. Ha <laughs> ha